Ever wondered why your adorable puppy doesn't follow your commands? Well, you're not alone. It's a common conundrum faced by many new puppy owners. Navigating the world of puppy training can feel like wading through a maze without a map. It's important, yet challenging. Training is more than just teaching tricks. It's about fostering a bond, a language of mutual understanding between you and your furry friend. But here's the catch. It's not as easy as it sounds. It's a process filled with trials and errors, of patience and persistence, and yes, a lot of puppy eyes. Effective training takes time, consistency, and a whole lot of love. It's about understanding your puppy's needs, their behaviors, and then tailoring your approach accordingly. That's where most of us stumble, figuring out that right approach. But don't fret. In this video, we will cover a 10-step process to make your puppy training more effective. Let's embark on this exciting journey together. The first step in training your puppy is building trust. Imagine walking into a new environment with a complete stranger telling you what to do. Sounds intimidating, right? Well, that's exactly what your puppy is experiencing. That's why trust is so vital. It's the cornerstone of every successful training. Trust provides a safe space for your puppy to learn and grow. It's the invisible bond that makes your puppy feel comfortable enough to follow your lead. Think of it as a two-way street. You need to trust your puppy to learn and your puppy needs to trust you to guide them. How do you build this trust? Through consistency, patience, and plenty of positive reinforcement. Show your puppy that you're reliable, that you'll always be there for them. And remember, trust doesn't come overnight. It's a journey, a process, and it's worth every step. Building trust with your puppy sets the stage for effective training. Step two involves maintaining consistency. Now, what does that mean? Imagine you're learning a new language. If your teacher keeps changing the words for the same object, it would be pretty confusing, right? The same goes for puppy training. Consistency is the backbone of successful training. It's about using the same commands for the same action every single time. Think of it as creating a language between you and your puppy. Sit means sit, stay means stay, and so on. This also extends to training times. Regular, consistent training sessions, whether daily or weekly, Help your puppy understand when it's time to focus and learn. It's like having a set schedule for school or work. And remember, everyone in the household should be on the same page. If one person uses down for lie down and another uses flat, it can confuse the puppy. Consistency in training helps your puppy understand and follow commands better. Our third step focuses on positive reinforcement. Now, what's all this buzz about positive reinforcement? Simply put, it's the practice of rewarding and praising your puppy when they show good behavior. It's like giving a gold star to a child who's done well on a test. Think about it. Wouldn't you be more likely to repeat a behavior if you knew you'd get a treat or a pat on the back for it? The same principle applies to our furry friends. When you reward your puppy's good behavior, they're more likely to repeat it. Whether it's a tasty treat, a fun game, or a loving scratch behind the ears, these rewards send a clear message to your puppy. Good job, keep it up. But remember, timing is crucial. The reward must come immediately after the good behavior, so your puppy can make the connection. And there you have it. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool in shaping your puppy's behavior. Step four is all about socialization. Now you might be wondering, why is socialization so important for a puppy? Well, socialization helps our furry friends to get comfortable with the world around them. Think of it as their introduction to society. Just like humans, dogs need to interact and communicate with others for their overall growth and development. By exposing your puppy to a variety of experiences, including meeting other dogs and humans, you're helping them become well-rounded, confident adults. Imagine your puppy encountering different environments, sounds, smells, and sights. These experiences help them understand that these are normal parts of life, reducing their fear and anxiety in unfamiliar settings. Socializing your puppy isn't just about making them friendly. It's about teaching them how to behave appropriately in different situations. It's about helping them understand that not every stranger is a threat. Not every dog is an enemy. Socialization not only makes your puppy more friendly but also more obedient. And that's the power of step four, socialization. Our fifth step involves command training. This is a fundamental part of any puppy's education, equipping them with the skills they need to navigate the world safely. By learning basic commands like sit, stay, and come, your puppy gains an understanding of what you expect from them. Teaching these commands is more than just repetition. It's about creating a positive association with each command. Start by saying the command clearly and firmly, 
then guide your pup into the desired position. As soon as they respond correctly, reward them with a treat or praise. This reinforces their good behavior and encourages them to repeat it. Patience is key in command training. Remember your puppy is still learning and it may take some time for them to grasp these concepts. But with consistency and positive reinforcement, they'll soon be responding to your commands with ease. Command training helps you communicate effectively with your puppy. Step 6 is house training your puppy. This isn't just about keeping your home clean. It's about instilling good habits in your pet that will last a lifetime. It's a crucial part of your puppy's development and overall well-being. House training involves teaching your puppy where to relieve themselves. To make it easier, establish a routine. Puppies thrive on consistency. Feed them at the same times every day and take them out after meals. This creates a predictable pattern for your puppy to follow. Designate a specific area for your puppy to use. This could be a particular spot in your yard or a certain type of surface, like grass or gravel. When your puppy uses the designated area, reward them with praise or a treat. This reinforces the behavior, making it more likely they'll repeat it in the future. Remember, patience is key. Puppies aren't born knowing these rules, they learn them from you. House training is crucial to maintaining a clean and healthy environment for your puppy. The seventh step is leash training. This is a vital part of your puppy's training journey, as it ensures their safety during any outdoor escapades. It's not just about keeping them by your side, but also about teaching them to respond to subtle cues and commands even when they're excited by the world around them. Now leash training can be a challenge, but don't worry. We have some tips that can make it easier. Start with short indoor sessions. Use a light, comfortable leash and let your little furball get used to the feel of it. Gradually increase the duration and move to outdoor sessions once your puppy seems comfortable. Remember, patience is key. If your puppy pulls, stop and stand still until they calm down. This teaches them that pulling gets them nowhere. Reward them when they walk nicely by your side. This positive reinforcement will make leash training a breeze. Leash training ensures your puppy's safety during outdoor adventures. Step 8 is all about avoiding negative reinforcement. Now, let's delve into why this is so important. You see, punishment and negative reinforcement can be quite harmful to your fuzzy friend. When a puppy is subjected to this kind of treatment, it can lead to fear and aggression, which is the complete opposite of what we're aiming for in effective training. This fear can make your puppy more anxious and less likely to listen to your commands, essentially backfiring your training efforts. Instead, it's vital to create a positive environment where they feel safe and loved. This way, they are more likely to respond positively to your training and commands. Remember, puppies are like sponges, soaking up every experience, every interaction. We want to ensure they're absorbing the right things, love, trust, and positivity. The key takeaway here is that avoiding negative reinforcement isn't just about training. It's about building a bond of trust and love with your puppy. Avoiding negative reinforcement is crucial for your puppy's emotional health. Our ninth step is practicing patience and persistence. Now, if there's one thing that's universally true about training puppies, it's that it's a test of patience. You see, puppies are like little bundles of energy, always curious and eager, but they're also learning and learning takes time. It's important to remember that every puppy is unique and their pace of learning will differ. Now let's talk about persistence. Persistence in puppy training may seem like a daunting task, but it pays off in the long run. It's all about repeating commands, rewarding good behavior, and ensuring consistency. The more persistent you are, the more likely your puppy is to understand and follow the training. There's a beautiful balance to be found between patience and persistence. Too much patience without persistence may lead to slow progress, while too much persistence without patience may overwhelm your puppy. Striking the right balance is key. Patience and persistence in puppy training often yield the best results. So let's keep going. The final step in our guide is regular vet checkups. This step is paramount as it directly impacts your puppy's health and well-being. You might be wondering, what does a vet visit have to do with training? Well, a healthy puppy is a happy puppy, and a happy puppy is easier to train. Regular vet visits help to ensure that your puppy is growing and developing as they should. They allow for early detection of any potential health issues. This means that any problems can be addressed before they become serious or impact your puppy's training. Moreover, regular checkups also ensure that your puppy is up to date with vaccinations and preventatives, 
which are crucial to keeping them healthy and safe. Remember, training isn't just about teaching commands, it's about ensuring your puppy's overall well-being, because at the end of the day, a healthy puppy is a trainable puppy. Regular vet visits are essential for a healthy and well-trained puppy.